I'm Ellie the Groomer, and um, I have the lovely Steve with me here today. And we're going to talk about how to desensitize a puppy to the grooming procedures that usually go on in the salon here, and why it's important to desensitize a puppy to these things. Uh, this isn't just for puppies. If you've got an older dog at home as well that isn't so great with the grooming stuff, these tips will also be great for you at home. Um, so this is pretty universal information. So it's important to desensitize a dog to what goes on in the salon because if you ever want to get at those areas at home or if a groomer would ever like to get into those areas, um, like the feet, the eyes, ears, that sort of thing, then um, it makes it less uncomfortable for the dog in the future if they're used to having it happen at home. So some of the most common areas that you would like to desensitize or get the dog used to being touched, uh, the feet, obviously, for any nail trimming. So what you can do at home is actually pick them up and uh, kind of manipulate the foot a little bit, get in between the toes here, kind of... Other areas that you'd like to check out at home, get your dog used to doing, is inside the ears. This is especially important for vets. So to get your dog comfortable with this, you can open up the ear there. Just take a look inside. My personal favorite is I like to take my knuckle and I like to give a little ear massage. This gives the dog the feeling of getting their ears cleaned, but it's actually much more comfortable. So if you have a dog that's uncomfortable with their ears being touched, sometimes this is a nice way to get them comfortable with the process. What you'd also like to do with puppies is, just like it would happen at the vet, anytime you go, they're also going to want to take a look at the eyes. In case there's any eye infections in the future, this isn't going to be so weird for a dog that you've checked out all of these things before. Also the teeth. Over 80% of dogs have some sign of gum disease by the time they're three. So it's important to get in there and invest in some good dental toys, uh, treats, the greenies are really good. There's also water additives, sprays, and toothpaste. Uh, they're really effective if you use them more often, so usually three to four times per week if you want to keep those uh, teeth nice and clean. You also want to get them desensitized to tools as well. A good one to start with, this is a rubber curry. It's uh, called the Zoom Groom. You can get it from any pet store. And I like this because it's got very soft rubber bristles here and it's not going to harm the dog if you brush too hard but it's great to get them used to the feeling of having tools on them and this is great for short haired dogs like labs. This also feels like a little massage and you're brushing at the same time so it's nice to get the dog used to having these things happen. Also, for puppies, for their first groom it's usually recommended that on their first visit to the salon, you kind of focus more on the bathing aspect because it's going to be a little overwhelming with all the sights and the smells and the other dogs there. You want to hold off for getting a full body groom for at least two to three visits. This is so the dog can get comfortable with the salon and the processes and isn't overwhelmed by the sound and the sensation of the clippers. So what you can ask your groomer to do is actually desensitize your puppy to the sound of the clippers on their visit. So the way they would do this is to turn them on and to not touch the puppy with them. We're not going to cut any hair. We're going to turn them on. And after the second or third visit, you can actually rest the clippers on them and get them used to the feeling of the vibration. Of course, Thief does not care. <laughs> it's going to depend on the dog, but this is the way that you would get them used to it. Let them feel it, and then they'll be ready for a full body haircut, and none of these things will be weird. You won't shock them at all. These are great at-home tips to get you and your dog desensitized to the grooming process, so good luck!